Hi there. So I was about to post this video around the same time as the April 6th Taiwan Hualien earthquake. Um, I'm going to still post it, but it has a different meaning now because of that earthquake that devastated Taroko Gorge National Park, where I shot this very next video in the series of Happy, Healthy, Heroic. The message still stands about enjoying nature, being present, um, but the, the context is definitely different. So this is really a tribute to the people of Taiwan, Hualien, and Taroko Gorge. It was shot at the Silks Place Taroko Hotel, the same place at the epicenter of the devastation, and the same place where the kindest, most beautiful people hosted my family and I there and picked me up from the Hualien train station in those buses that were trapped in those tunnels for days. And uh, just the best hotel experience, the best nature, the best everything possible. And uh, we experienced all of that and it won't be open for another year because of the devastation of that gorge, of the cliffs, of the boulders that came down. The same boulders and cliffs that created this stone from the cliffs of Hualien on the coast, as well as this bracelet created by the Aboriginal tribes in Taroko Gorge for me to enjoy and to remember that beautiful experience by. So this is really a tribute to the people there, um, to the lives lost, to the rescuers, to the rescued, the beautiful culture, the people, the nature there. And I just want you to be able to enjoy it, um, at least a little bit of a glimpse that I can show you from my experience there. Be inspired. Uh, please let me know what you think. Share this. Um, hope you will be able to enjoy it firsthand for yourself one of these days. My thoughts and prayers are with the people of Taiwan, Hualien, and Taroko. Please watch and enjoy. Thank you. Hello, happy new year of the dragon 2024. I have decided to come to Asia to celebrate the new year. And for this latest episode of Happy Healthy Heroic, I have been out of touch for the past few weeks. Sorry about that, but a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I'm back, so decided to have a special episode here, walking you through this beautiful garden on the island of Taiwan, the middle of Asia. This beautiful place called Taroko Gorge. And I'm just walking through this garden outside of this hotel called Silk's Place. It's beautiful, it's right behind me here. And uh, this is just a little bit of stream of consciousness, just walking and talking. I uh, don't always have a specific agenda of what I want to talk about, just to hang out and show you some nature here. The audio might be a little bit messed up, background noise, people walking around the background, but just hang out. It's just experience life together. Here we have some of the symbols of Chinese and Asian culture here. This is the mom, mama lion, baby lion over there, and daddy lion over here to welcome in the best in the new year of health, success, relationships, and uh, yeah, so here's Taroko Gorge behind me. Check this out, look, the, look at this. Got water flowing from the top of some snow mountains and it's just beautiful I think I'm gonna have to come back here again soon it's my first time here and uh, I've just got butterflies and birds everywhere monkeys and uh, it's just it's just so beautiful and if you know anything about my background I just love nature and I studied biology at UCLA uh, in order to learn about the world but also figure out how to live our best lives so you know being out in nature outdoors sunshine blue skies fresh air plants animals it's all a part of living life experiencing it and being healthier so I love being out here and uh, this is atypical apparently I've been told by a tour guide I was with yesterday through the gorge here in Taroko National Park that it's usually kind of rainy, but we've got perfect weather here during this visit. So sometimes life and the weather works out uh, in your favor. Not all the time. Sometimes it doesn't, and you just gotta roll with the punches, right? So um, this is 
good example of, you know, when life goes your way, great, celebrate it. When it doesn't go your way, well, learn from your experience and how to go through un uncomfortable experiences because life is usually going to be a struggle, a fight, uncomfortable. And uh, there's one way to go about it, which is just complain or cry about it or get really angry, which it's okay to do that from time to time, but we wasted a lot of energy by doing that. Why not just uh, understand our situation, learn what we can from it, grow stronger, move on to the next. So here we are walking through life together. I appreciate you watching this. And uh, sometimes I'm gonna show you some more fitness related stuff, some food, but uh, today I'm taking you through some nature and uh, maybe I'll throw in some fitness clips in here, but uh, for now, just enjoy walking outside. All right, so this whole idea that uh, we're hustling and working so hard to make our lives and other lives better and companies and our families make money, that's great, that is great. Nothing wrong with that per se, but sometimes we forget about all these great things we have out here. Like, this beautiful mountain behind me. Check this out. Check this out. Hopefully I don't fall back into the gorge here. That would be a disaster, but look at this place. It is a massive gorge naturally cut by snow melt cutting through this river and uh, creating this beautiful national park. So, yeah, and uh, Coming out in nature reminds us that we are not, uh, you know, we're not bound by work, by money. Those are human constructs, right, to help us survive on this planet. But when you see these rock formations and this uh, amazing river that's been built over millions of years, that we're such a small piece right now. Whatever temporary troubles that we have, it's just a small piece. It's a small storm. It's a little rock or boulder, boulder that's tumbling down and uh, you know it's our troubles will pass sometimes it's quick sometimes it's slow but you can grow stronger through it I don't see any monkeys out here today but still beautiful what do you think what do you think of this place Taroko Gorge National Park in Taiwan Asia it's beautiful, isn't it? Give a thumbs up if you agree. A thumbs up if you agree. And remember, just follow me along my life's journey of this healthy, happy, healthy, heroic life's journey about where we're going to go. Just to like and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Share if you think this is something that might be interesting to one of your friends. And uh, yeah, keep keep coming back if you like what I'm sharing, where I'm going. Uh, around the world. I might just be stuck in LA most of the time, but I just want to share some of my stories and my thoughts. I'm just going to hang out right here. This little table in the middle of this gorge. So, yeah. Nature. Peace. Meditation. Uh, be thankful for what we have. I know not everybody, including myself, can get out here all the time, but when I'm out here, I make the most of it. And uh, enjoy the nature and the solitude. Because uh, being in the city most of the time, it seems like a lot of stuff is going on and you can never be alone. But uh, it's really easy to get over busy and lonely among all that. But this reminder, being out in this beautiful place is that, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot more than just uh, our jobs offices, paychecks, um, houses, private jets, apartments, rent, all that stuff. It's important, but we need each other. We need nature. Um, the God that made all this made it all available for us and our health. So yeah, thankful for that in this year of 2024, the year of the Dragon. Wishing you a fantastic year, a fantastic, happy, 
healthy growth year. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment any thoughts you have. See you next time. Thanks for watching.